willing to make that marriage work is inside of you. Always ask yourself, what can I do to make things better in my marriage? Do you have that marriage in mind? Or when you go, you go. You just come back, hey, hey. The house surprised you, you surprise the house. Abba. Learn better relationship skills. Like some of us now, our marriages are okay, but we're still learning. Study that man. Study the man. listening to this 21 days nuggets we are slowly coming to the end of it and i'd like us to go home with something i hope is helping our marriages you know we're talking about marriage these end times i know you have heard a lot of people talk about marriage and all that but we're talking about marriage so much these end times because marriage is in danger i said that severally and marriages have become distractions to our primary assignment here on earth we have things to do but we are just pursuing our marriages relationships and all that so please let's listen and be blessed today i'm going to be talking to men women children boy girl single married we're talking about general relationships attitudes that can hinder relationship attitude that can hinder the flow of a smooth relationship you know, for a single woman, when you have this kind of attitude, it's difficult for a man to marry you. Same thing as a man. There are some men that are unmarriable. Permit me to use that word. Hallelujah. So I'm going to talk about a few attitudes that are detrimental to our general relationship. One of them is the victim mentality. The victim mentality is when you think that your problem is from somewhere else you begin to blame every other thing but yourself you have refused to take responsibility and it's evil you're still blaming things that have happened long time ago and because of that you are not moving forward nobody wants to date anybody that has a victim mentality that is blaming everybody can you take responsibility for your for your failures can you take responsibility can you stop blaming somebody remember adam was blaming eve and that was a problem so we need to be careful well the solution for it because I, I'm, I'm talking about attitudes and solution the solution for it is being grateful be grateful the bible says in all things give thanks let us be grateful let us forgive and let us turn our focus from ourselves when you keep all thinking about yourself you you, you you're being unspiritual. You're being, you know, you have that victim mentality. The next attitude I'll talk about and this solution is the judgmental attitude. You judge everything, having fixed opinion about people. You, you know how things should be already. Can you allow the other person to be? Can you allow the other person to, to, to flow in her gifting instead of you to judge? Remember, the Bible says, judge not so that you will not be judged. And the Bible also says, who are you to judge another man's servant? So what is the solution? Love, love. You know when we talk about love, as a Christian, your identity is love. Your identity is not that sticker that you put on your car. Hey, your identity is not that sticker you put in front of your house. Your identity is love. That's how you'll be identified as a Christian. Remember how the apostles were first called Christians. They saw their attitude and they called them Christians. It was a big name. So please, as much as possible, let us love. Love one another. Love that person from that part of the country. You know, being judgmental to our people who will say, Ah, no, I can't marry an Igbo man. No. I can't marry a Yoruba man. I can't marry an Hausa man. No, 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 no. Love. Wherever the Lord says you should marry, marry. Hallelujah. And the next thing that can also impede relationship is lack of compassion. When you don't have compassion, how do you develop compassion? Remember that you too, you have been in trouble before. So that will help you to love, to help you to have compassion. 
for some I want is the um, solution. The solution is that it could be you. What if you are the one in that situation? Put yourself in that situation when you don't have compassion. When the person says, um, ah, sorry, I couldn't make it by nine, you are angry. Why is it not nine o'clock? Nine or nothing. And then one day you find out that you are in hold up for 10 hours. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then you will know that you should develop compassion. Because for me personally, most of the things I criticized, I fell in them. So I learned from the things I suffered not to criticize people. Stop criticizing people. Have compassion. Praise the Lord. The next one is lack of self-control. Put yourself together. You know, the Bible says that we should have self-control. That is one of the fruit of the Spirit. You exhibit self-control. Hold yourself. Put yourself together. Hallelujah. Not that when it's time to laugh, you over laugh. When it's time to cry, you over cry. Everything should be in moderation. Praise the Lord. So, lack of self-control, the solution, of course, is self-control. Put yourself together. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, from verse 5 to 7, it says, add to this, add, to this, add virtue, add self-control. So you keep adding as you are maturing, as you are growing, put yourself together. The next thing I'm going to talk about today is being negative, pessimistic. I've talked about it before. Stop being pessimistic. Try and encourage. Have courage. Remember, the Bible says that God can do all things. So let us have trust in God. Not that we, we, are, we are always sad, you know. Some women, when you see them, when they meet a man for the first time, all you are talking about is your problems. Come on now. <laughs> how can you talk about your problem? You see a man and you say, with well, the first thing he says, hello, how are you? So how are you doing? Uh, uh, they have thrown me out of my house. Habba, I don't have money for my school fees. This and that. The man will run. Nobody wants to hang around somebody who has evil things to say. All the time you are complaining. All the time you, you don't have confidence in yourself. You're pessimistic. So the solution is be optimistic. You meet a man for the first time. He doesn't have to know your problems the first day. Just with him laugh. Eventually, when he finds out that you have this kind of problem, you, you'll, be, you'll be impressed. You'll say, wow, you mean all these things were going on when we we're gisting and laughing? You say, ah, this is a good material. But not that you bring out all your Urishi Rishi outside. Praise the Lord. Let me talk about one more before we wrap up for today. I hope somebody is learning something. One of the things to, to, to learn is eschew envy and jealousy stop jealousy people stop envying people allow them to flow praise the lord the solution is try as much as possible to 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 encourage try as much as possible to be happy for other people you know that people are doing well you to cheer them up and be happy for them praise the lord not that you jealous them you have things to say about their successes Anybody that drives a new car stole the money. One day when you drive your own, you stole the money to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And finally for today, stop being oversensitive. Oversensitive in the sense that, you know, you, 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 everything is an insult to you. Somebody made a comment and it's to you. There were so many people inside the room. You think it's to you. You come into somewhere, they're talking, they're talking about you. No. That is being self-centered, selfish. So as much as possible, please, don't be oversensitive. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Don't be sensitive about your own problems. Praise the Lord. I pray for somebody today that the Lord will help you to keep these attitudes down so that you can have a good relationship. You can have a good marriage. You can relate with your church sister, your church brother. You can relate with your colleagues in the office. There are some people that are not relational when it comes to having relationships. They don't, they, don't, they don't relate with people. They have bad attitude. They carry this attitude. They carry a wrong face. They are not smiling. 
We're not saying you should walk about opening your teeth. No, but carry a face that is approachable. Ladies, the best makeup to wear is a smile. Carry a smiling face. It's not all those makeup. You know, some of us now, our makeups are scary. When you put those makeups, you put those eyebrows that look like ah, you want to eat the person up. No, no, no. The smile will do. Hallelujah. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that that person listening to me, that her attitudes that have been causing her relationship not to flow will be put aside. Jehovah God, let those attitudes be suppressed with the fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. We come against every superimposed attitude that the devil is using against your relationships right now in the name of Jesus. Where carry on the fragrance of Christ even as you move around. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.